Well, it's changed hugely because uh, <laughs> years ago they had to write letters and it took weeks for a message to get home. And uh, now we have instant communications, even the days where ambassadors were calling the shots uh, in post Cold War, you know, before the uh, end of World War II and so forth. Um, the tempo and the pace has changed very, very significantly. Um, the modern communications media has presented an instantaneous challenge to diplomats. And obviously the volatility of the world, the dangers of the world today, uh, in terms of terrorism, uh, the conflict, sectarian conflict, uh, civil wars, strife, and so forth, are really presenting uh, a whole set of new challenges, not to mention globalization and huge populations of young people who do not have great opportunities. So the challenge for the American diplomat today is as intense as ever. Diplomacy, foreign policy, is the effort to take American interests at home and protect them abroad and project our values abroad in furtherance of those interests. So we push democracy, obviously, because we are convinced that countries that are democratic, countries that afford their populations broad uh, access to opportunity, that respect the dignity of individuals, that give people certain rights of assembly, of speech, etc., those countries are inevitably stronger and more peaceful. So that's where we find our alliances. And it is critical for us, particularly in today's world where external entities like an ISIL or Al Qaeda or other entities are prepared to threaten the United States directly, we have to provide for the security of our country. And the better place to do that is to try to meet those challenges abroad rather than wait till they come to us here as we learned in 9-11.